Hello and welcome back to my seven days of rest challenge. You may notice that today I am standing and that is because today we are going to be looking at mental rest. Now for me personally when I think of mental rest I think of practices that support me in dropping out of my mind and back down into my body and there is no better and more accessible language for all human beings than the language of movement. Whether you are very able or whether you have any disabilities, movement is always happening within and inside the body and can be explored through every facet of our body too. So today I invite you to stand with me and to be in your room in your space you won't need a lot of space to move around but perhaps clear a little bit of the floor in case you get really into it and if you find going into movement practices a little bit uncomfortable i invite you to meet that edge but also you have full permission to do this exercise either seated or lying down today too that is completely up to you so as always, I didn't introduce myself at the beginning, but if you are new here, my name is Phoebe Hart. I am a yoga teacher and somatic practitioner. And this is my seven days of rest challenge to support you in integrating just a short 15 to 20 minutes of rest into your every day this week so that you can deepen this practice of rest and return to the parts of self that need tending to. So let's begin. We're all going to find ourselves either seated or standard. And we're just gonna begin by planting those feet down into the floor, flicking the eyes closed, taking a breath here as you land and arrive with your own body in your space. And perhaps already noticing what are some of the stories? What are some of the images, some of the words that are dancing through that mental space as you arrive here today? And on a scale of one to 10, in just witnessing and noticing, how present do you feel within your body here in this current moment? Allowing yourself to land into this awareness with a lack of judgment and rather just this observer lens of how much do I feel right now within the here and now and present in my body. Perhaps inviting a deeper breath in through your nose a gentle exhale out the mouth <sighs> as you drop your attention now down into the soles of your feet or perhaps the sit bones in your chair. And we're going to start real simply today by just investigating and exploring our shifting of weight. So beginning to shift your body from right to left, keeping those eyes closed. And sensing first that weight transfer that happens as your body shifts left to right. Perhaps you'd like to add in more of a forward and back motion with this too. Noticing how the spine naturally stacks above the pelvis and the pelvis bowl shifting around all four corners of your feet. And if this feels like the most movement you have right now, that's absolutely fine. Keeping yourself here, just investigating the shifting, the moving of your body around the feet. 
And if you want to continue this exploration, we're going to start to take that movement now out from just shifting around and out into our fingers and our hands. Starting to play with rolling around the joints of the fingers, extending movement out to the palms of the hands and the wrists. So we're just shifting weight and playing with moving our hands. And if at any moment you feel as though you've shifted to outside of yourself, perhaps worrying what you look like or a distraction within your space, taking your attention back into the body and feeling this movement from the inside out. So feeling what it feels like to move your fingertips, your hands your, and your wrists now even from the inside out. Perhaps you're investigating circling the wrist joints and then I'm going to invite you to continue that movement up into elbows. So we're continuing to shift the weight from left to right and the feet forward and back and then we're taking our movement now out into fingers, hands, wrists and elbows. Seeing where you would like to play with this movement out into your space whilst experiencing it from the inside out. Bringing in the shoulders now. So we have this movement happening, this shifting of weight from left foot to right, and then up arms expressing outwardly into the space. Perhaps just playing with moving each joint within the arm. Perhaps tracing shapes into your space with your hands, your fingertips, your arms. And now inviting in the neck and the head to join this movement. Giving yourself the permission to stay present within this movement exploration. Even if it starts to feel a little sticky and awkward and weird, trusting the process of where your movement is leading you and following those little shifts that are happening inside the body as you move, using movement as the transition from one place to the next within your exploration. Inviting in now, if you haven't already, your rib cage, continuing to shift Move the fingertips, the hands, the wrists, the shoulders, the elbows, the head, the neck, and your ribs. And naturally, as you start to circle and move your rib cage, your hips, when your pelvic bowl will want to join. And perhaps you've already started, but you can invite in now some bending in the knees as you continue to take this movement now out into the whole body. Continuing to shift from one foot to the other as the whole body moves. And if your attention again has gone outside of yourself, perhaps you want to slow the movement down. 
So again, you can experience it from the inside out. Taking yourself back to the simple exploration of fingertips and hands, and then slowly adding in elbows, shoulders, neck, head, ribs, hips, knees, ankles, feet. And if you're still moving in one spot within your space, perhaps you'd like to now allow that shifting of weight and moving of the body to take you out into your space a little bit more. And we've got a few more minutes here all together. So investigating as you move from the inside out and noticing perhaps what parts of your body have been needing this exploration of movement. Perhaps there's an area of the body that feels like it's been quite stagnant today. And together for a few more minutes, allowing this movement to be within your whole body. Taking a deep breath in, slowing that movement down, coming back and unpeeling each layer of movement back to a slow shift from one foot to the other. And then we're gonna slow that all the way down and come to a pause. Perhaps you want to place one hand into your center and notice all of the movement that still happens internally, even as we come into stillness. a breath together here, noticing perhaps your heartbeat into your hand. And as you sigh, exhale and release, checking in again with that scale of one to 10. How present do you now feel within your body? noticing anything that has arrived with you into this space now that you've moved. Noticing if any of those stories, images, words that arrived with you at the start are still here now. Just noticing. I'm going to invite you all to take a nice deep inhale as you reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, cut the strings above the fingertips, <sighs> drop the arms down and slowly begin to open your eyes, bring yourself back into your space. And as you do so, just taking in your space with your eyes. And taking anything you need for yourself now, perhaps a moment to journal, perhaps a moment to continue moving or stretching into the body in a way that feels good for you to round off your practice today. 
I want to thank you for meeting that edge perhaps of moving and to remind you that the simplicity of just bringing your attention back into the body and even just with the simplicity of moving with the structural part of your body offers your mind the chance to rest and the opportunity to drop down and notice how present you are so common that our attention and our energy rises up and out when we're primarily in this mental thinking space and the beautiful thing about coming into movement or just simply feeling those feet into the ground feeling the weight of your body into the earth starts to pull that energy back down into your center and into the body so I hope you enjoyed today's very short but potent practice and I would love to hear from you. So let me know how you found today in the comments below or perhaps you'd like to reach out to me via Instagram and speak with me personally there. But until tomorrow, as we investigate another form of rest in day four, I'm sending you love. Thank you for joining me again for another day of rest. I invite you to go and give me a follow on Instagram at The Rest Space or at with Phoebe Hart to stay up to date with all news. If you are interested in joining the online membership, The Rest Space, then you can go to www.phoebehart.com forward slash The Rest Space of where you can find all information about what's to come and get yourself signed up to join us in our monthly membership of rest.